Hello YouTube and CyberGods.net. I'm gonna show you how to use VBolton. This one's gonna be for if you're a normal user, though I'm logged in as an admin as you can see. So first off, I guess I'll start with your user CP. Here you can choose your options and stuff if you go into general settings. You can choose to show reputation, be in visible mode, V card, and don't have to really worry about that. Uh, messaging and notification that's like if you get a PM or something from somebody you'll get a notification under this one um uh, where did it go um default red subscription mode that's pretty useful I used instantly using email but you'll also if you go here you'll see them here and you get an email which I like and you can see your reputation you get down here I'll go back over to the form oh no let's go to our profile so you hit my profile or you can hit your name at the top either or works this would load so you can hit that too so as you can see your visitor messages are here now I can delete them I think you guys can too on your own profile from here you can Choose to send a private message to a user. Send an email to them if they have the option enabled. Um, you can find their latest posts, their latest threads. Um, you can see what they're currently doing and their activity. And then their friends are down here. The recent visitors. Some about me. So if they filled that out, I'll be there. S statistics down here about them. Um, all the friends again. Any threads are tagged in, which never will be anything here because that option is disabled. Mentions, any posts you mention people in or they mention you in. These are posts that you're quoted in. People hit reply of quotes or whatever. And activity is your activity information, like how active you are. So, as you can see, my background is actually different. Now, if we go over here, let's click on this user. Sorry, you can't do that. i go like that. Wait for it to load. And you can see his profile looks a little plain. So, to change as you hit customize my profile, this box will come up. Whatever you change, you will see it down here live as you change it. So let's say I'll change. Hmm. I'll change the link colors to gray. Oh. Where? Okay, that's odd. It didn't change, but whatever. You get the point. Yeah, they should. They're supposed to change, but for some reason the links didn't change the colors. <clears throat> Probably because the site's being a little laggy, so it's not working 100%. But the host will be switched, and everything will work good. So I guess I'll show you the shout box now. This is not a default feature of VBolton, though. It's a plugin. We have a staff chat for staff, obviously, to chat. You can also send private messages by clicking here to who you want to shout to and you type in their username so let's type in the username you look it up and there's all your shouts it says your quoted post that you quoted them in and yeah you can send them just a private message that only they'll see and it looks like this PM2 and then their username and they'll get sent to them <coughs> A new tab opens which you can exit and I can actually create new chat like chat rooms so I can create a new chat room video test chat <coughs> great chat and there it is and then I can invite users to it if I want to so let's say I want to invite him I can invite him so <coughs> that's pretty much the chat box I can delete shouts, edit shouts. I believe you guys can edit shouts. You just double click your shout and you can edit it. Now we also have rules, facts up here. Facts brings you up to a facts page, how to use it. 
you just click one of these and whatever. Here are the rules. You really should read these because you might get a warning if you don't, because you could break rule. Here's the terms and conditions. You're gonna wanna make sure you know that have read this and understand it because it's pretty important stuff. Um, if you're an admin or staff, or whatever, you'll have these tabs up here. But this is a normal user's video, so don't have to worry about that. What's new tab is useful, but I know I use this now. So if you want to get to the, never mind, tab was there, no stats anymore. But it shows the um, what's new, so like the latest post for I th believe this day. So yeah, you can view those. But I like to use this, and you can also if change what you want to see so we can see the newest members there's newest members top posters obviously me just kidding <laughs> um so now we'll go into a thread so let's go let's go into one that a little bit more posts in it uh this one doesn't have many posts in it it's a newer section we'll still go into it so the prefixes usually are colored. Some of them aren't colored because they might not be as important or just we didn't feel like having them colored. So this one's colored saying info. So this is info because it's a review. We actually have a review tag though. And that's added after this was made. But yeah. So I guess I'll show you how to make a post. Let's hit go advanced. And there should be a bar here let's try making a new thread maybe because as I said the forms on a hundred percent working and again there's still nothing there but anyways there would be normally a bar like here and it'd show you options like if you wanna put a link like you wanna type in some te text like test and then you you could put that as the thing that it's linking to but I still I know some of the code, so let's let's make our own test thread. So center, hello. Then you're gonna close it by doing a forward slash and then center again. Not centering, not text. <coughs> um, what else can we do? So what we can type in something again, like how is everyone? <coughs> you can actually hit Control B. Except again, it's not working. It bold it, and Control U would underline it. Control I would put it in italics. <clears throat> now, when we switch hosts, everything will be working good and stuff. You can see this line going across. That's because the thing's supposed to be there, but it's glitching up. So, whatever. Um, that pretty much it you can see who's online down here this is important I guess you can change your style just by hitting that now we're on the other style we will be adding more styles later but for now I like the default style because I'm used to it you can see the moderators of the thread um I guess I don't need to go into more detail because it, that's pretty much the basics you guys can look at the archive here <coughs> as well and video is getting close to nine minutes probably pretty boring so I guess I'll end it here thanks for watching and for all the admins and mods on the forms I'll make a tutorial on how to do moderate and stuff in the next video see you later